While cases of the coronavirus are on the rise in Kano State, while the state government is doing everything possible to curtail the spread, Governor Abdullahi Ganduje is now appealing to the federal government to release funds to the state. TVC News Kano correspondent Ibrahim Isa reports. Kano State has witnessed an alarming rise in positive cases of the coronavirus. The state has recorded 59 active cases in less than two weeks and a death. According to the state health authorities, 89% of the patients have no travel history and largely reside in Kano Municipal Local Government. Others live in Kumbozo, Tarawni and Fagi, all within Kano Metropolis. Out of the 59 active cases, 87% are males and 13% females. There are asymptomatic cases in Kano that pretty much have not been that are still transmitted. And the more we establish testing facility, the more we escalate our testing capacity, likely the more we are, we are going to get more cases. With the situation in Inkanu, the state government is appealing to the federal government to release funds to help it fight the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Governor Abdullah Higanduja presented this request when the Director General of Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Chike Ehekuezu, paid an assessment visit to the state. Since it started in Kano, you look at the speed at which it's going. I think we need urgent financial assistance to Kano State. We know Lagos is a big, like the economy of Lagos, it's much bigger than the economy of Kano. On his part, Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, Chike Ihekwezu, pledges support for the state in the fight against the spread of the coronavirus. We have to find a solution. We cannot run away to any wish. Secondly, we can all see the impact it will have on our economy, on our way of life. We have, as leaders, no other option. Kanu has been on total lockdown, which is to initially last for seven days. Medical professionals in Kano State are worried about the rising cases of COVID-19 in the state. For that reason, they call on the government to provide protective kits for those in the front line. They also call on the government to decentralize the state testing centers so that more suspected cases can be tested. According to them, that would help mitigate the spread of the coronavirus in the state. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kanu.